Submission. Submission is a dirty word, isn't it? Well, for many women, it is. To submit to a man, to be humble to a man as a woman, to be under him, under his power, his control, oh, that's too much. It sounds like slavery. But you see, that's a strong modern mix they like to add to the mix. To say it's like slavery, to, you know, submit to a man, oh, it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> don't submit to a man us evil monstrous villainous men indeed but welcome back glad you could join me again this of course is replicant fish and these are some clips from the real yeah, they call it the real but really really with genie mai saying why she submits to her husband young jeezy or jeezy as he's called now because he's not really young anymore and neither is she at 41 years old so is Jeannie Mai submitting because, you know, she's learnt her lesson through life? Or because she realises she's not getting any younger and, you know, it's, it's probably a good time for her to settle down and find a, a new husband because she has been married before. So yeah, interesting, interesting. Yeah, maybe not, maybe not interesting, but yeah. Let's have a listen. And then I want to explain okay. how I see this. So the actual definition of submit is to accept or yield to a superior force or to the authority or will of another person. So I'm gonna say right here that I, Jeannie Mai, going into my marriage, I want to submit to my man. Yeah, submit. Let me explain. Yeah. When I hear this wow. definition, like you just said, Adrian, submitting has a negative connotation. It means that you are less important, you are lower than that person that you're submitting to. It usually can be like, you know, reference as somebody who works lower than you. And that's not what I'm referring to here. Yeah, but what I really cool. learned in my life or my definition of marriage, I'm not saying what I want works for everybody. I'm saying for me, right. I'm a very dominant woman. I own my business. I lead my teams. I played my own manager, my own publicist, my own lawyer when yeah. I didn't have money to have those people. So I make the decisions in my life. When I come home, I like the idea that my man leads us. That doesn't mean that in this case, Jay makes all the decisions for us. That doesn't mean that when he says, how are we spending our money or where are we moving? That I just say, yes, sir. Or yes, your, your honor. Like, it's not that it's a, you know what? I think that we would do best here. I want to do this. And he takes the decision. He formulates it with our yeah. overall vision and he leads us. And in other words, negotiating as, you know, as a couple, as two people, she understands that Jeezy is the man at the end of the day. She is the woman. No matter how much of a boss she is in her life, in her personal life, in her business, whatever, at home, with her man, he is the man. And they negotiate things together. He does not drop the gauntlet and say, woman, this is what you have to do. No, no, no. They negotiate. Now, regardless of how real this is and how honest she's being, whatever, the point is it does make sense. And when you have to rationalize with modern women as to why this makes sense, you realize how stupid it is and that you're wasting your time when you have to say, oh, look, do you hear what she's saying? It makes sense. You realize I'm not even going to waste my time convincing of this. It should be known. It should be known. But then again, in this modern feminist narrative world, come on. <laughs> Agreeable women, women you can talk to and negotiate with, oh, please, oh, please. And I like to submit to that. I don't want to lead in our household and in our marriage. I want him to lead and I have all the essence of what I bring as a wife to make that decision, but that I love that my husband will be the man that leads. Here, 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 here. You're making sense. You're actually making sense. Like I said before, she is 41, so she's not a spring chicken anymore. However, she is making some very good points. Just want to make a quick point. I don't like the real, by the way. I, I don't like the real. I don't like this show. This show feels like it's it's killing something inside me as a man every time I watch it. I, I don't know why. It's like a it's like loose women in the UK, aptly named loose women. The name's so fitting, loose women. Good God! Yeah. But that show as well, it feels like it's 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 killing me slowly as a man. I, I don't know why. I, I don't know why. I like that structure in a marriage, and I look forward to that because girls, it's tiring being the boss of me. It's tiring leading all. Yeah, I can bet. I can bet. I wish more women would understand that how tiring it is to even maintain you for flip's sake. Oh my God. Let me calm down, triggering myself for no reason. 
all the time. And, all the time. and I come home, I to I be the boss of that all the time. Yeah. Yo, no, yes, I Adrian. Like I, don't, I don't like labels. I don't I like labels. I don't like yeah, I don't, I don't, and, no, I think she likes food labels. But seriously, Lonnie Love. Why is Lonnie Love dressed like Bill Duke from the Predator movie? Whole platoon, 32 men chopped into me. We walk out, just you and me. Nobody else. Right on top of I should be careful, she might cut her name right into me. I don't want to be take, taken outside, and sometimes men tend to feel like, well, this is how a woman is supposed to act. And if I'm working with you as a, a person on the outside, don't treat me like whatever your marriage is. I don't want that. I'm, uh, I am oh, my oh, own I person. That. Treat oh, me I like an that. equal. That's the only problem I, I have that. with that. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh God, Lonnie Love. Clearly resistant, clearly not a woman you can negotiate with. Clearly a woman that wants to dominate. Yeah. Again, why is she wearing fatigues with a big plant next to her and a, a picture or a view outside? I'm not even sure what it is of a, a tree or the forest. Like, uh, I'm going to stop, but I'm seeing Bill Duke here. I'm seeing Bill Duke. I'm sorry. Bullshit. I know it's wrong, but oh god, let's carry on. What you do in your marriage? I, I hear you, you on it. But when, outside, yes. don't don't treat me like I'm your wife, because I'm not. How does that make sense? Don't treat me like I'm your wife because because I'm not. I, I don't even know. I don't even care to be honest. I honestly don't care. She's talking crap. Because I'm not. What Jeannie Mai said makes sense, and you know she sounds like a she sounds like a woman you can possibly negotiate with, possibly. She's doing it for the cameras, so, you know, be aware of that as well. And she does have makeup on, so, you know, be aware of that as well. But I will say, I actually agree with what she's saying. To understand the dynamic of being submissive to a man, it doesn't mean you're a damn slave. It just means you understand to let a man be a man. You see, what women don't get nowadays, because, because they're not taught it and they're not taught to care about it, women aren't taught that... You get the most out of a man when you understand as a man to let him be a man. In letting a man be a man, he can do more for you, do more for you as a woman, be a better man for you as a woman. Obviously, yes, some men are flipping crazy. That obvious, as are many women, as are many, many women, let's be honest. However, letting a man be a man, for your advice, women, that is how you can get the most out of a man. Reminding him that he's a man. Not to be a man for you to, to break his back and bend his knee for you. No, no, no. No. To remind him to be a man because he is the head of the household. He's the captain. You as a woman, you're the lieutenant. You're the right-hand woman. You're the sidekick. Some would, say, some would say, but those are degrading labels. They're secondary labels. Secondary to whom? You mean the men that built the world? The men that have died throughout history? You mean the men that keep the world running? Oh, you mean the men that question why they should wife you? Oh, you mean those men? What women don't understand is how hard and difficult the job of being a man is. Yes, it's fun, obviously, but tireless. Unrewarding? No one cares. As men, we do the most and get the least recognition or acknowledgement of what we do. Nonetheless, nonetheless, we keep going. Because part of what makes men so strong is knowing what and why they're working so hard. The point women miss is a man that can trust the woman he has at home or in his life. A man that can trust that woman would make that man work so hard for said woman. Obviously, you know, if he truly cares about her. Now you see, that is real. That is real. Not the crap Lonnie Love is trying to say. Because I'm not. But so I'll leave it there for now. I'll leave it there for now. For now, focus, observe, remember. The world is yours. Have a nice day.